Welcome everyone to my channel that is fast and easy maths. As you all know, my channel is dedicated to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics. So if you are new to my channel, then please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell bus button besides it so that you get notified whenever I push up a new video. Students, I would also like to tell you all about a book which is known as Vedic Maths for All Ages. This book is great if you want to increase your basics of mathematics. The links of this book as well as the gadgets used to record this video are mentioned in the description. So go ahead and check them out. Today students, we are going to solve a question which was asked in an MIT admission test. Okay, so the question looks quite complicated. Let's first read them. If e is equal to 8, find the numerical value of e minus root of e plus 1 plus 2 plus e minus cube root of 3 root of e minus 4. So students, here it looks quite complicated. The first, so in case if you are facing this question in any of the entrance tests, first and foremost step would be to put the value of e in the entire question. Here the value mentioned is 8. So let's put 8 in place of e. Okay, so here we get 8 minus bracket open 8 plus 1 plus 2 plus again 8 minus cube root of 8. Then we have again a square root of 8 minus 4. Students, please note I have not changed any of the placements of the bracket. Neither have I changed any of the values. Okay. So the next step would be to follow which rule? You're right. We'll follow the V board mass rule. Here, as you know, V stands for veniculum. So here it stands for bar. B stands for any of the brackets. O stands for order. D stands for division. M stands for multiplication. A stands for addition. And S stands for subtraction. So the order in which we will follow is, we will start from here and then we will go downwards. Okay, so here the first thing we'll do is we'll try to solve the square roots and the cube roots. Okay, so then let's start this down. We'll keep the rest of the question as it is. So 8 minus root of 8 plus 1 is 9. So let's write that down. Plus 2 plus 8 minus cube root of 8 is what? 2. And root of 8 minus 4, you will get, you are left with root of 4. So now, again, let's solve this square root first, okay? We will keep the rest of the question as it is. So root of 9 is 3 plus 2 plus 8 minus 2 we are keeping as it is. Root of 4 is 2. So now, the next thing we'll we do is we'll solve the brackets. So 8 minus the value of this bracket is 3 plus 2 which is nothing but 5 plus 8 minus 2 which is nothing but 6 and we'll keep the 2 as it is. Okay. So now again according to this we'll first come across the multiplication which is here. So we'll keep 8 minus 5 as it is. Plus 6 into 2 is nothing but 12. Students please understand. Whenever you are facing addition and subtraction. You can do either of them first. Okay. So let me first do the subtraction. 8 minus 5 is 3. Plus 12. So 3 plus 12 gets you 15. So that is your answer. For this complicated looking sum. Another thing I would tell you is if you are like really very well versed with the V board mass practice then you can directly start doing substitution here and in a in 
one or maybe two steps you will get your answer but please don't do this unless and until you are pretty confident that you know the order of the bod mass and you are very very sure of not making mistake so this was one of the question which was asked in mit admission test now let me show you another question so the question is simplify x raised to 6 plus a square x cube by upon x raised to 6 minus a raised to 4 y square now students this looks a bit complicated okay so let's do the first simplest step which you can think of that is when you look at the numerator x raised to 3 is common okay so here we will take x raised to 3 common so when you take x raised to 3 common from x raised to 6 you are left with x raised to 3 again plus x raised to 3 is taken away from this so you just left with a square and y okay now we'll keep the denominator as it is which is nothing but x raised to 6 minus a raised to 4 y square okay so this is the first step which you can do now when you look closely as a denominator which is nothing but lets me write that over here x raised to 6 minus a raised to 4 y square okay students the biggest hint over here is the minus sign and you can see that the degree of a and y are double than the degree available in the numerator so why have i said the minus sign because this equates to a square minus b square which can be written as a minus b and a plus b okay as you know so this was the major hint for you the minus sign and the degree of a is as well as y okay so now let's write this down in terms of a minus b and a plus b if you look closely the degree of a is reduced so here we have x raised to 6 which can be written as x raised to 3 the whole raised to 2 we keep the minus sign as it is and a raised to 4 can be written as a raised to 2 the whole raised to 2 and y can be written as again the whole raised to 2 so when you simplify this further you can write this as nothing but x cube the whole square minus a square y the whole square so if i want to convert this in this form what do you i write x raised to 3 minus a square y and the next bracket is a plus b so x raised to 3 plus a square y so now when you look at the denominator instead of this if you keep this as your denominator this particular bracket and this particular bracket are one and the same so that will get cancelled okay and that is our job the entire question needs to be in the simplest form so whenever you have a question which needs to be simplified you need to get the entire answer in its simplest form meaning it cannot be gone further okay so let's try this down we'll keep the numerator as it is and the denominator in place of this we'll write this so which is nothing but x cube minus a square y one bracket the other bracket is x cube plus a square y now as you can see this bracket as well as this bracket are one and the same so you can strike that out so now you are just left with x cube upon x cube minus a square y so that is your simplified answer for this tricky looking question students if you like the way i'm explaining then please go ahead and hit the like button so that's it for this video i will see you in the next video thank you